Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with a new WWE product opening. Did manage to get in about two cases of 2020 Topps WWE Finest for both personal breaks and in-store sales, which is exciting because we weren't expecting it to show up. Was another mystery surprise from All Sports, who unfortunately doesn't have a website where you can check what you have on order, just happens to show up uh, whenever that product comes out if you get allocated any. So we do have two whole cases of Finest. I'll be listing probably about 12 boxes on the website later today. That way, uh, if some sell in store we don't oversell but this does come with too many boxes each mini box does have an autograph and a total of six packs for mini box so a full box does have 12 packs two autographs and a total of four different base refractor parallels on the front of the box it says to collect the 10 card stone cold steve austin insert so that should be cool hopefully we'll see one here perhaps it'll be like that ichiro set from uh, top's finest baseball but i'm curious to check it out so let's go ahead and get on into it by snapping us into the corner and let's get going i have my regular sleeves 55 point top loaders all right i am all set to go so let's get ahead go on ahead and get on into this so yeah a lot of just random random products i was not expecting for us to have did show up yesterday uh, i came into work this morning and there's just a pile of stuff on my desk i was like all right looks like i'm not getting ahead on my personal channel looks like i'm recording a, a lot of stuff here I was planning on actually opening up a mail video because I do have a bunch of packages, but today seems to be a pretty full schedule. So I'll, I'll save that off for next week, or maybe I'll just do it as like a Christmas special, let it keep piling up. But here is the mini box here. Again, that information on that Stone Cold Steve Austin set. I believe we have Asuka on the front and on the back. Let's go ahead and crack on into it. I was saying six packs per mini, five cards per pack, one autograph per mini box. I remember at Finest Baseball, the autograph was, I believe, in either the first or second pack always. So just be careful if you're buying loose packs. Uh, I'd recommend just going ahead if you don't want to buy a full master box just to buy a sealed mini box. But here we go. Look for Superstar WWE autographs. Let's get on into it. All right. Looks like we do have a green refractor something here. It is a green refractor auto, 25 of 99 of Keith Lee. On card autograph. Nice to see not sticker autos. These are very cool pictures as well on the cards. Very more dynamic than I would have expected, especially this Mustafa Ali card here. That is cool looking. But alrighty, let me get that top loaded. There's our first auto, Keith Lee. Alright, pack number two. Ooh, looks like we have something shiny here. We have Ultimate Warrior, Finest Returns, insert. And number seven, Returns number seven. All right, we have a Refractor, Kushida. Oh, we have Mustafa Ali backwards card here. Ooh, that is an orange Refractor, 21 of 50. Very nice. I was wondering if that would be like a photo variation, but it is just an orange numbered refractor out of 50. We have finest tag teams insert, Steve Cutler and Wesley Blake. Refractor Kaylee Ray. And the last pack of mini box number one. You have a finest debut, AJ Styles. All right, so that'll do it for the first mini box here. Let me go ahead and straighten up our piles to get our two base refractors, three inserts, and a numbered color refractor along with a numbered color in, uh, autograph. Here we go. Let's crack into our second mini box. Again, I'll just go in pack order. So most likely we'll hit our autograph again in pack number one. I guess I can move that out of the way too. Don't need any of the boxes on, stream, on screen, I suppose. Looks like everything's a little bit higher up than normal. All right, here we go. Pack number one. Who is our autograph? Oh, we have a base refractor autograph of Jeff Hardy. Long card auto. That's a cool looking autograph. 
Not sure how that says Jeff Hardy, but still very cool looking. Looks like he drew like a little, looks like a little dinosaur with like a little jester hat. If I had to describe that autograph. And it's cute. Not numbered. Refractor autograph. Do have a Sasha Banks base card. That's cool. I mean, I we could find that in refractor parallel. Or numbered. We have finest tag teams, Eric and Ivar. Mojo Rowley. Refractor. Oh, I never sleeved up that auto. Let me take care of that. Ooh, we have something die cut here. That's cool. Mr. Mahone, Mr. McMahon, excuse me, inducts Austin C9. That's cool. Finest careers, 8 of 50. Gold, die cut, stone cold. That's cool. Mr. McMahon. Ducks Austin out of 50. Interesting number placement there. Not sure if that is supposed to be up there or perhaps supposed to be over there and just got a little shifted. That is cool. Gold refractor die cut insert. I'm assuming that is that Stone Cold Steve Austin set because it does have the little skull with Stone Cold on it. Very cool. Cold number nine, I'm assuming. That's nice. All right. Oh, let's finish off those base cards. We have Finest Returns, Daniel Bryan. That's cool. That's cool. It was cleared and would be able to compete in the ring beginning at WrestleMania number 34. Now, I remember I was watching WWE a little bit before 2016, so I'd actually stopped before he got injured, but I remember hearing about him being forced to retire. I know you guys were informing me in the comment section during that WWE Undisputed box opening that he was able to come back, which is, of course, very good news that he's able to continue doing what he really enjoys. All right, next pack here. Refractor, Adam Cole. And last pack here, the whole Master Box. Do have a decade's finest superstars, Kofi Kingston, 2019. And Cesaro base in the back. All righty, so let's do a recap here of everything we found. We did get two autographs, of course, as guaranteed in the product. Box number one, or mini box number one, yielded the green refractor, Keith Lee. Box number, mini box number two had Jeff Hardy refractor. Not numbered on the refractor autos, but out of 99 on the green. Did also have that die cut, Finest Careers Gold, 8 of 50. Mr. McMahon inducts Austin. That is cool. Scene number nine. I also had, for mini box number one, a orange refractor parallel, 21 of 50 of Mustafa Ali. For our base refractors, we had Adam Cole, Mojo Rowley, Kaylee Ray, and Kushida. Two Finest Returns inserts, Ultimate Warrior and Daniel Bryan. Two tag teams inserts, Steve Cutler, Wesley Blake, then Eric and Ivar. We had Finest Debuts, AJ Styles. Then a different insert, the only two inserts that we had one of, aside from that die cut. Decades Finest Superstars, Kofi Kingston. And that will do it here for this box opening. Very gorgeous cards. Also continuing with the trend from that Allen and Ginter Chrome openings from earlier in the week and then the last week as well. Very nice base cards. I'm not seeing a lot of scratch cards, maybe every here, here and there and again. But overall, looks like the cards are in very nice condition, very cool looking inserts, and of course the color is gorgeous as always with Topps Finest. I'm very pleased with this product. Let me know your thoughts on this product in the comment section down below. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Hopefully we will have more WWE openings in the future. I know we should be getting a little bit of Road to WrestleMania in the new year, and also another product that I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm excited to check those out, especially because it seems you guys really do enjoy the WWE openings here on the channel. So like I said, let me know your thoughts on this product on anything in the comment section down below. Roast me for mispronouncing McMahon, uh, Vince McMahon's name there. I don't know what happened to my brain. I saw it and I'm like, huh, how do I say this? And I'm like, duh, Vince McMahon. So of course, roast me for that in the comment section if you feel feel like it's uh, I provide entertainment. 
whether it's good entertainment or bad entertainment, I do provide you guys entertainment here. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Nerds family, we'd love to have you with us. Please go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. But that is it for me here today on WWE. Up next, I do have Stadium Club Chrome Baseball. Some more gorgeous Topps Chrome cards coming up next. If you're interested, make sure to stay tuned for that. But that is it for me here. Let me go ahead and get this cleaned off, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. So thank you for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll be back soon. Bye.